Welcome to our third lesson on shifted and horizontal parabolas. Last time, we discovered that a formula for a vertical parabola with vertex at 0, 0 and focal distance p was x squared is equal to 4py. And if p is positive, the parabola faces up. And if p is negative, the parabola faces down. The goal of today's lesson is to be able to write equations representing parabolas whose vertices are not at 0, 0 and for horizontal parabolas. First, we will discuss shifting or translating graphs in general. To shift any graph h units to the right, replace every x with x minus h in the equation. And to shift any graph k units up, replace every y with y minus k in the equation. Now, students often find this confusing because they're used to associating subtraction with moving to the left. So the question is, why does replacing x with x minus h move the graph to the right? And that is because for the same y to appear on the graph, x needs to be bigger in order to compensate. So here's an example. Take the graph y is equal to x squared. And there are two points where y is just a number that we're randomly picking, 9. And those points are 3, 9 and negative 3, 9. And I highlighted 3, 9 on the graph. Now suppose we have a second graph, y is equal to x minus 2 squared. And suppose we wanted to get the same y value of 9. In order to get the same y value, the numbers that we would have to plug in for x are 5 and negative 1. So to get the points 5, 9 and negative 1, 9. In other words, x has to be two bigger than they were for the previous graph that we're shifting. And here's uh, an image that shows this. So the two points on that picture both have a y value of 9, but the blue y val sorry, the blue x value has to be too bigger to compensate for the fact that there's an x minus 2 in the equation instead of an x. We now have enough information to uh, give you a task okay, to try out. The red parabola is x squared is equal to 4py, where p is equal to 0 0.5. And your task is to find an equation for the blue parabola, which is just a shifted version of the red parabola. Try it. So we start off with the red parabola of x squared is equal to 4py. And the blue parabola is the red parabola shifted four units down and three units to the right. To move the graph up, we replace y with y minus something. So to move it down, we replace it with y plus something. Or we can view it as replacing it with y minus a negative number because we're moving in the opposite direction. So we can think of it as replacing y with y minus negative 4 or by replacing y with y plus 4. To move it to the right, we already know um, that we just replace x with x minus something. In this case, 3 units to the right replace x with x minus 3. And this is basically the answer. You could also replace p with the value that we know for it as 0.5 or simplify it. But we're just shifting by replacing x and y with x minus 3 and y plus 4 in this case. Now, we've discussed vertical parabolas, but now it's time to discuss what are called horizontal parabolas. So vertical parabolas are like the one in red here, uh, where the parabola opens upwards. So up and down, it's vertical. And in order to get a horizontal parabola, we can make a note that it is simply a vertical parabola reflected across the line y is equal to x. And so in order to reflect something across that line, all we need to do is replace x with y in the equation. So the general equation for a horizontal parabola is y squared is equal to 4px, as opposed to x squared is equal to 4py. Your second task is going to involve shifting and reflecting. So the red parabola, again, is x squared is equal to 4py, with p equals 1 in this case. Find an equation for the blue parabola, which is congruent to the red parabola. In other words, it's the exact same parabola, just shifted and uh, reflected in order to become horizontal. Uh, on the top of the slide are the rules of how we transform things. So you can always look to that if you need to. But please try out this task number two. So we start off with the red parabola 
that has the equation x squared is equal to 4py. And the first thing in general that we're going to want to do is reflect it to get the shape right. So y squared is equal to 4px is the green dotted parabola that you see in the picture. And then we can move it. So we are moving it by moving it to the left and up. So four units to the left, three units up. So we replace y with y minus three, moving it up, and replace x with x plus four, moving it to the left. And because p is one, we could also plug that in and simplify it a little bit. And that's the equation of the blue parabola that we have at the end. Now, the order of transformations sometimes matters. And I wanted to bring this up because suppose you started with the equation x squared is equal to 4py, and then first you shifted with the, with the plan that you would then uh, reflect it later in order for it to be uh, equivalent to the, to the blue one. So if you first uh, shifted it to the right spot, you'd get x plus 4 squared is equal to 4py minus 3. You just replace x with x plus 4 and y with y minus 3. And then if you switched x and y in the equation, you would reflect it across this line, the line y is equal to x, but uh, the result of that reflection would be this green parabola, which isn't the blue parabola. In other words, the, this series of transformations did not wind up with the correct answer. And um, I just wanted you to be aware of this as a possibility. And the good way to think about such problems for now is first, it might be helpful to get the shape right. So first you replace x with y and, and vice versa, and then you shift in order to get it to be what you want it to be. The result of all of these uh, considerations is that if we use all of our knowledge of shifts and reflections, then we can start off with the equation x squared is equal to 4py. And by shifting it, we get the general equation for the vertical parabola. And by reflecting, we get the horizontal parabola equation y squared is equal to 4px. And then by shifting that one, we get the general equation for a horizontal parabola with vertex at hk. So I created the slide that would summarize all the different things that have been going on up to this point, as well as having the picture of what each of these different parabola types would look like. Now we're up to task number three. So I'm going to ask you to do this one without using technology. Do not graph this one on Desmos. If you understand the theory, you should be able to answer these questions um, without having to graph it on a graphing calculator or by using Desmos. So try it out. Okay, so we're up to the check for this uh, problem. Now, we're going to go through these one by one with short explanations. So is this vertical or horizontal? It's horizontal because it looks like the equation for a horizontal parabola. And the quick way to make a note of that is that if the squared thing is y, then it's horizontal. And if the squared thing is x, then it's vertical. Uh, the vertex is always going to be hk. Now, um, because it's x minus h in the equation, that means that the positive 4 is negative h, or another way of thinking that is that the h is the negative 4, and the k is directly the 3. So you have to be very careful about the positives and negatives and how you compare things to each other. What is the p-value, the distance from the vertex to the focus? And we can look at this by looking at the same spot in the same equation and realizing, therefore, what p has to be. So in our specific equation, we have a 4. In the general equation, we have a 4p. So we have the equation that those two red squares have to be equal to each other. So 4 is equal to 4p, and therefore p is equal to 1. Which direction is the parabola facing? Well, p is positive in this case, so it's opening up to the right. And it might be useful, um, before I go over why the next two answers are correct, to just simply draw the picture of this thing. So. We're, we're given the vertex by the formula itself. We have the p-value, and we know it opens to the right. And so the focus is going to be 1 to the right of the vertex, and the directrix is going to be 1 to the left of the vertex. So that's how we know that the focus is going to be negative 3, 3, and the equation of the directrix is going to be x is equal to negative 5. This is all probably rather new, 
and the next lesson is going to build fluency as well as go through a couple of new topics related to this. So what do we do in this lesson? We generalized the equation x squared is equal to 4py to include horizontal and shifted parabolas. And next time we'll build fluency in using and visualizing these equations. Until next time, have a great day.